Both tablets measure 200 millimeters tall, but the iPad mini is 1.5 millimeters thinner, and the Nexus 7 is 20.7 millimeters narrower and 18 grams lighter than the Wi-Fi model iPad. While the difference might initially seem quite small, it's rather noticeable when you're using and stowing the devices. The Nexus 7 is much easier to palm. Our fingers wrap around the sides relaxed and with ease, while we have to stretch our fingers to grip the iPad mini. The narrower build of the Nexus 7 also means it drops into our pant pockets without too much discomfort, while the iPad mini looks like you stuffed a dinner plate in your pants. The materials used are also quite different. The iPad mini is made out of the same anodized aluminum found on the iPhone 5. It's sturdy and reeks of high quality, but scratches easily. The Nexus 7 is composed of a high quality soft touch plastic. Yet, same for the home button on the face of the iPad mini and the top speaker on the Nexus 7, their designs aren't all that different. Their backs are slightly curved toward the edges, the front edges are chamfered, the speaker grills at the bottom are perforated on each side of the charging ports, the rear cameras are located in the upper left corner, and they both feature minimal bezel along the sides of the display with noticeably larger bezels at the top and bottom. They're sort of like long lost cousins, until you power them on. Internally they have a considerable amount of differences. The iPad mini features only 512 megabytes of RAM, comes with a 1 gigahertz dual core A5 chip, either 1632 or 64 gigabytes of fixed storage, and a 16.3 watt hour battery. The Nexus 7 has 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 1.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro chip, 16 or 32 gigabytes of built in storage, and a 15 watt hour battery at 3950 milliamp hours. Both come in Wi-Fi and LTE models, though the LTE Nexus 7 will not work with Verizon CDMA coverage, meaning no 3G. Further, the Nexus 7 comes with NFC and wireless charging, and it's Bluetooth smart ready. By far, the biggest difference between these two small tablets is their displays. The iPad mini, at 7.9 diagonal inches, offers a display resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels for an overall density of 162 pixels per inch. The Nexus 7 comes with a 7 inch display with a 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution. Its pixel density is 323 pixels per inch. Obviously, in terms of clarity, the Nexus 7 takes the cake. It's considerably clearer, but it's also brighter, more saturated, offers deeper blacks, wider viewing angles, and it's more pocketable, which is arguably the primary purpose of a small tablet. In design, these two are nearly deadlocked, though we give it to the more narrow nature of the Nexus 7. The Nexus also has the upper hand in specifications, but the iPad mini doesn't give up the fight so easily. It takes home the build quality title. Software is the other strong suit for the iPad mini. The iPad mini is currently running iOS 6, which has its own laundry list of features, but iOS 7 isn't slated to drop until fall. iOS 6 features the old iOS interface. It's drab and quite boring to use. We can't help but feel the iPad mini would be more useful and efficient with the new set of features that come with iOS 7, such as the quick settings menu. The current software simply feels dated. The Nexus 7 comes with the latest version of Android, 4.3, which boasts a nifty tablet-specific feature multi-user support with restricted profiles. This is perfect for families who share tablets between various members. As per usual with Android, there are optimizations on the home screens and lock screens, widgets, which offer at-a-glance information. And not all of your applications have to be scattered around your home screens. It's simply more organized and easier to customize. That said, there are hundreds of thousands of applications in Apple's App Store that support tablets games, productivity, and social apps that more than make up for the rest of the platform's shortcomings and greatly improve the overall experience. However, the tablet application situation on Android is certainly improving, quite rapidly at that. There is now a dedicated filter in Google Play to display tablet applications. And considering Android smartphones are continually growing in size, running phone applications on a 7-inch tablet is not nearly as bad as it is on a full-size slab. In software, these two miniature tablets come to a draw. Both the iPad mini and the Nexus 7 perform exceptionally well in day-to-day -day use. Applications launch quickly, tapping the home button drops you back on the home screen in an instant. And even switching applications or changing orientation happens relatively quickly. But if we circle back to specifications, there's a logical reason why the Nexus 7 outperforms the iPad mini. The A5 chip in the mini holds its own in general use, but graphic intensive games tend to bog the tablet down, causing serious drops in frame rates not nearly as many applications can be kept in memory. This means you'll see application splash screens more frequently, but the app's save state certainly helps offset the lack of RAM. The 2GB of RAM and Snapdragon S4 Pro paired with the most recent improvements of Project Butter keep the Nexus 7 purring along smoothly. It handles games well and has yet to bog down on us through intense multitasking. 
Battery life is fairly comparable as well. The 16.3 watt hour battery on the iPad mini and 15 watt hour battery in the Nexus 7 will likely manage to power you through a full day of use. Their standby times are phenomenal, only dropping 3 to 5% over 24 hours of inactivity. But on heavier days, you might want to keep a charger around just in case. In typical use cases, they will only need to be charged every day and a half to two days. And the cameras on these two will not knock your socks off by any means. They both equip 5 megapixel cameras around back and both take dull pictures which lack contrast, detail, and proper color reproduction. Your smartphone will likely take much better pictures, but these will do in a pinch. Although the first Nexus 7 was a killer tablet, we never imagined the second iteration would be so great. The iPad mini has been regarded by many as the best small tablet money can buy since its launch in November. But Google and Asus picked up the slack and pumped out one stellar tablet that will leave competitors scrambling to return fire. And that's not even considering the price. At $229 plus tax, the lowest capacity Nexus 7 is a full $100 cheaper than the same capacity Wi-Fi model of the iPad mini. And the yet-to-be-released LTE model Nexus 7 and 32GB will cost only $10 more than the cheapest iPad mini. The comparable iPad mini, 32GB with LTE, would cost $210 more. Ouch. In other words, if you're in the market for a new tablet, are more accustomed to iOS and Apple's ecosystem, and you're not against paying a little more, the iPad mini is likely your best option. If, however, you're wanting the absolute best bang for your buck, we recommend the new 